In another edition of Congress embarrassing Americans uh, with their stupidity, we have Representative Paul Gosar from Arizona. And he recently tweeted a photo of Obama and um, someone else. Let's take a quick look at the tweet. He said, uh, the world is a better place without these guys in power. Hmm. Now, two interesting parts about this tweet. <laughs> uh, number one, the photo is photoshopped. Number two, the individual photoshopped in there is uh, still in power. That is uh, Rouhani, Hassan Rouhani of Iran. He's mm -hmm. still very much in power. I'm unclear as to who Gosar thought that was. Did he think it was Soleimani, the assassinated uh, top commander of the military in Iran? What did he think? Who knows? Who knows? This is like one of those, how many mistakes can you spot, kids? He's a congressman. He's a congressman, okay. Um, so just to be clear, that was not uh, Qasem Soleimani, the, the individual that was assassinated by our government. Uh, it was the current president of Iran. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, here's the original photo for any of you who are interested. Uh, it featured Obama meeting with the previous prime minister of India. And so there it is, uh, nothing wrong with that photo. Uh, that was when he met him for the first time. Now, uh, of course, Unfortunately, Narendra Modi is the Prime Minister of India and he is problematic to say the least, but that's a completely different story. Now let's move on. Uh, what I find amazing about this is right wingers consistently accuse Democratic presidents like Obama of being in bed with dictators, with mm. evil guys, with bad guys. They negotiate with the terrorists, right? They'll say things like that, except they, Always forget about how Donald Trump defended Mohammed bin Salman after he ordered the, the murder of Jamal Khashoggi, who was a US resident and a Washington Post reporter. Uh, they also had no problem with Donald Trump going on an international tour to share his love for Kim Jong Un. Remember? Mm -hmm. Take a look. He is very talented. Anybody that takes over a situation like he did at 26 years of age. Really, he's got a great personality. He's a, you know, funny guy. He's a very smart guy. So he's a very smart guy. He's a great negotiator. He loves his people, not that I'm surprised by that. Very few people at that age, you can take one out of 10,000 probably couldn't do it. I think he liked me and I like him and I understand the past. But him, he's still some, done some really bad things. Yeah, but so have a lot of other people done some really bad things. We had a great chemistry. You understand how I feel about chemistry. He's the head of a country, and I mean, he's the strong head. Mm -hmm. Don't let anyone think anything different. Right. He speaks and his people sit up at attention. I want my people to do the right. same. Uh, you know, over my lifetime, I've done a lot of deals with a lot of people, and sometimes the people that you most distrust turn out to be the most honorable ones. Yeah, He's, he's the dumbest person ever. I mean, yes, yes. Uh, and let's not forget, uh, he had no problem posing for an undoctored photo mm -hmm. uh, with Kim Jong Un, which uh, many people tweeted in response to Gosar's tweet. So there he is uh, meeting with Kim Jong Un, uh, you know, in, um, in the middle of his little love affair. And he talked about writing, you know, love letters <laughs> with with this terrible person. Now, look, when it came to negotiating with North Korea, we're very much on the side of diplomacy, right? But that doesn't mean that you need to go on an international tour to announce your love affair with Kim Jong Un. Well, look how well it's worked. And, and exactly. Yeah. I mean, North Korea reneged on everything. Uh, they threatened the United States with an attack on Christmas Day, uh, mm -hmm. which luckily they didn't actually follow through on. But it's just amazing to see the double standard between uh, Iran and North Korea. Yeah, and he loves Duterte and he likes Putin. For every Western leader that he's been even relatively polite to, to I can point out a dictator he's gotten on much better with. Those are his favorite leaders. Mm -hmm. I know. So I don't know what Gosar's point is. Well, Gosar is really dumb, okay? And, and if that wasn't enough evidence for you, I, he doubled down in the most idiotic way. Mm -hmm. So he started attacking the reporters that were like correcting him and saying, this is a photoshopped image and that's Rouhani, it's not Soleimani, it's not, you know, and Rouhani's mm -hmm. still very much in, in power in Iran. And so this is what Gosar uh, tweeted in response, he remained defiant. 
to the dim-witted reporters, no one said this wasn't photoshopped. No one said the president of Iran was dead. No one said Obama met with Rouhani in person. The tweet says the world is a better place without either of them in power. But Rouhani is still the president of Iran. What do you? Who who tweets a photo with the caption this wasn't photoshopped? <laughs> like you're a congressman, we expect it's not going to be photoshopped, you idiot. He he kept going. He was like, "You know what? Where's that where's that shirt? Let me let me dig that hole." He's uh, the point remains to all but the dimmest Obama coddled, appeased, nurtured and protected the world's number one sponsor of terror, what the United States? The world is a better place without Obama as president, the world will be better off without Rouhani. So, like then that's not even consistent with your with your tweet. And you don't have a problem at all with Donald Trump getting on so well with all of these dictators that doesn't bother you at all. And who believes that he doesn't think that he thought that that was an authentic photo and he had no idea who was in it. I'm shocked he knew it was Obama. He's like pretending like no, no, it was emblematic of something. It was a metaphor actually. No, you thought it was real. Yeah, look, one thing that I I will say is it's it's embarrassing to see people like Trump humiliate us on the world stage. It's embarrassing to see a US congressman not know who a world leader is and put out this photoshopped image claiming that these two individuals are no longer it's it's all embarrassing, right? It makes me feel humiliated and I think everyone else should feel that way. But these lawmakers are a reflection of us. Mm -hmm. Like they get this they don't just walk into Congress, they get elected into Congress. And we need to do a better job in vetting our lawmakers and not buying their bull, their bull, right? Just being abundantly clear and aware of who they are, what they represent and what they're influenced by. Yeah. And when they tell us who they are, we should believe them. When their family members tell us <laughs> who they are, we should believe them. And that's exactly what happened with Representative Gosar. His own family members put out an attack ad against him because he's so disastrous and this is a great excuse to be able to watch that video again. Paul Gosar, the congressman, isn't doing anything to help rural America. Paul's absolutely not working for his district. If they care about health care, they care about their children's health care. They would hold him to account. If they care about jobs, they would hold him to account. And he's not listening to you and he doesn't have your interests at heart. My name is Tim Gosar. David Gosar. Grace Gosar. Joan Gosar. Gaston Gosar. Jennifer Gosar. Paul Gosar is my brother. My brother. And I endorse Dr. Brill. Dr. Brill wholeheartedly endorse Dr. David Brill for Congress. I'm Dr. David Brill and I approve this message. That is an epic ad. Yeah, the ending's a little bit unfortunate, but the, oh, that was great. just devastating. It. <laughs> it was so good. But it doesn't matter because yeah. this is America where I don't care if you're the dumbest person for miles. If you hate the same people I hate, I'll vote for you. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun, but you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that. All you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video, thank you.